I will give you a prize fighting Pokemon that is randomized so it may not even be fighting. It might be a Lugia or a Mewtwo or a Weedle. It could potentially be another Weedle. What's up, everybody? Original151 here. Welcome to episode 22 of my Pokemon Fire Red Randomized Nuzlocke. And in today's episode, we will be going to the Fighting Dojo. I'm hyped, and if you guys are hyped, make sure you destroy that like button. Let's try to break a like goal of 75 likes in today's episode. Now, we do not need a team recap in today's episode because nothing has changed from the last episode. We still have the same squad that we've been rolling with. I put Brianna back in the PC after we finished using her because we needed to cut down those trees at the end of the last episode. We brought Savannah back on the team, and that's where we're at on the squad right now. That's what the squad's looking like. I can give you guys a very quick look at the squad right now. We got Oswald the Fifth, Pyro, Asshole, Kathleen, Angela and Savannah and that's gonna be the quickest team recap we've ever done on the channel ladies and gentlemen so without further ado let's come inside of the fighting dojo and let's start battling some trainers so I am gonna lead off with Oswald the fifth because I would love for him to get some high quality experience in today's episode because I want Charizard very badly you're trespassing in our fighting dojo the front door was open to clarify there was not even a front door there was just an entrance. I walked in. I don't know what it is. Whenever I just first wake up and start recording, my voice always seems deeper. Doesn't my voice sound deeper to you? I don't know. It's freaking me out. We're battling a Pichu at level 31. Even though this is a Pichu, I was going to say, even though this thing's at level 31, I'm going to stay in because I think Oswald the Fifth can handle this. Now, granted, it probably will take a while. Sweet Kiss, that is an adorable animation. I don't like the fact that we've became confused, that we have become confused. Oswald V is a sharp shooter, though. He should be able to hit himself in confusion. Come on, Oswald V! Charm. This thing is annoying. It's using charm. It's using sweet kiss. Is that what it was called? Lovely kiss, sweet kiss? Oswald snaps out of confusion, hits him with the ember, and one more ember, and we're good. And thunder wave. Okay, Pichu, I am picking up what you're putting down, my friend. I got so much sleep last night, I don't even know how I'm functioning right now. You know when you, I've, I've mentioned this many times on the channel, when you get so much sleep that you actually wake up and you're, you're like overtired. I can't open my freaking eyes right now. Well, they're open, but I can't open them as wide as they normally could be opened. I'm just, I'm just gonna stop. I'm gonna switch out. Actually, I'm not gonna switch out. I'm gonna stay in, then I'm gonna switch out. Uh, let's go over to, let's go over to Pyro to take down this mischievous or mischievous. And why is every Pokemon on your team trying to confuse me? It's very annoying. But we got Pyro the Flame Fox over here with his really good fire, really cool fire beard. Astonished. That's going to do nothing to Pyro. Eat it up, Pyro. Eat it up! Let's go. And Pyro, all my fire types are hitting themselves in confusion today. What are you guys on break? What are you on vacation? Let's go. Step it up. We're back. We're ready to record. We can't escape. Connect. Good. Don't connect with yourself. Connect with the enemy. Connect with the, this thing lived. Oh my god. Psybeam, that's not going to do that much damage to, to Oswald, to Pyro. This is why I need to wake up, have some breakfast, relax for a little bit, do a different activity, then record. Because then I'm more awake, I'm more alert. I feel like I am sleep recording right now. Yeah, that's the thing. You know sleepwalking? There's also a thing called sleep recording, in which case I am doing right now. Where I am very tired, and I am recording. Therefore, I am portraying the fact that I am asleep. I need to stop with the rambling today. Uh, can I switch out now? Yes, I can. So let's go over to Oswald. Now let's go over to Angela. And let's test out the newly acquired Surf HM. And that's definitely going to kill the Magmar. Oh my god. I thought it wasn't going to kill for a second. Magmar, badass Pokemon. Love the sprite. The sprite in this gen too especially looks so awesome. Pyro grows to level 39. And we defeat fan Christine. So, we'll probably take care of the entire fighting dojo in one episode. Well, obviously, we'll take care of the entire fighting dojo in one episode. And then in the next episode, we'll take care of the Silphco, and then we'll go and battle gym leader Sabrina in the episode after that. So, a lot of exciting stuff to come, ladies and gentlemen. And we do get a Pokemon at the end of this episode. I forgot. We either get a randomized Hitmonchan or a randomized Hitmonlee. It's going to be a completely random Pokemon. So I think I might end the episode off there. That's usually what I do when I get to this point in the game. And I'll let you guys vote in the comments section. That will be the question of the day today. Which Pokemon should we pick at the end of this episode? So here's a Ratata. I'm going to stay in and go for an Ember. And it's very annoying that we are paralyzed because if we miss this, then the Ratata is going to hit us very hard. So I'm switching out and I'm going to go over to Asshole. 
Hyperfang's gonna do nothing to asshole. And let's just go for a confusion and we will take down this Ratata. Love that shade of purple you're rocking with there, Ratata. How the hell did this thing live? But good, we became it became confused. And now those little ducks. Could you imagine if every time you got confused in real life, just six ducks would swim around your head like that? Float around your head? I don't know. The things I wonder. The things that I wonder, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. I'm innocent! <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I just, I'm saying words. I'm saying words. I'm saying phrases. Here comes a Milotic. Uh, I'm gonna go out to Savannah. I'm gonna let Savannah kick some ass right now. The whole team is getting a lot more... A lot more training in today, man. It's nice. We're all getting to a good good amount of levels here. We're all getting a good amount of experience. Uh, let's go for a strength, see how much damage that does to this Milotic. I know Milotic is pretty fat usually, but the stats are randomized, and that does a good amount of damage. Water Pulse, it's going to do nothing to Savannah. Actually, does a decent amount. Uh, let's go for another strength. And we're going to take down the Milotic. And Milotic is an awesome Pokemon. Very majestic, very beautiful, very fancy. Very, very Slither-like. I feel like if you saw a Milotic in the wild, it would just, like, slither over to you. Like, hey, how you doing? How are you? The kids are good? The kids are good? How's school going? Oh, yeah? Good grades? Good grades? Very nice. Very nice. That's Milotic. I don't know why, but that's that's the way I envisioned it. Let's battle you! Hiya! I have no fear for anything! Tough! I shatter boulders for training every day! What do you shatter them with? Your head, your hands, your feet... Your elbows. I don't know. Mawile's coming in. Mawile is like one of the weirdest designed Pokemon. Look at that giant ass mouth. It's freaking menacing. It looks like a piranha plant. Uh, let's go over to Kathleen. Crunch. Eat it up, Kathleen. That's gonna drop our special defense though, but that's okay. Let's go for a... Let's go for a cross chop. See how much damage that does. It is super effective. It's definitely a... Ooh, okay. Okay, Mawile. Okay, Mawile. I see what you're doing there. Alright, so that Mowile is going to survive, but we're going to go... Let's just go for a low kick now. Ensure that we're going to hit and we'll kill this thing. Down goes the Mowile. Kathleen's going to get some experience. So for the most part... Oh, there we go. Level 26. Ten more levels away from Evolution. Alright, let's battle this guy. Hoo-rah! Take your shoes off. My shoes are already off, boy. I'm wearing my socks. My... Half, they're not mid calves, they're like the half ankle Nike socks that like go up the ankle, but they don't go completely up the mid calf. That's what I'm rocking right now. Rhyhorn's coming in, and I'm switching out, and I'm going over to. Yeah, look at that. The squad's actually all pretty much caught up. 39, 39, 39, 44, 39. So, Asshole is the only one that is like ridiculously over leveled, and Oswald is a bit under leveled. So, we're looking good right now, man. What was coming in? I forgot. Uh, let's just go out to Angela. Yes, good job, Vincent. Good job. Uh, let's relax. Let's calm down. Let's calm down. Jesus. Okay, hit three times. We're good. Surf. You're gonna die, Rhyhorn. You're definitely gonna die. And that, my friends, is called taking out the trash. Or taking out the Rhyhorn, if you will. <laughs> Ampharos is coming in. I'm switching out. Asshole, get in here. Rock slide. And we got the flinch. And we got the flinch. And we got the flinch. You know what? I'm thinking this episode's probably going to be way too short if I end it with grabbing one of those Pokemon. So maybe we will still have you guys vote, leave, and then come back in the next episode and scoop up a Pokemon. Uh, Tentacruel's coming in. Uh, in which case, I'm going to go out to... Where is Asshole? Asshole's already in. Staying in. I was gonna say, where the hell is Asshole? I was looking on the right side of the screen. Tentacruel goes down. This guy gives up. Now, do we battle you, or do you... Yes, we do battle you. Okay. Ugh! I am the Karate Master. I am the leader here. You wish to challenge us, expect no mercy. Okay, bring it on. Bring it on. He's, he's, he's ready to go. That's what he looks like. That's what he looks like. Fan Joe is gonna send out a Kangaskhan! And we have a Kangaskhan of our own, and our Kangaskhan's at a higher level. But we're gonna start off with Oswald, then we're- You know what? Fuck it. BATTLE OF THE Kangaskhans. Which Kangaskhan will come out on top? Will it be Savannah, or will it be this no-named ranger named Kangaskhan? The Kangaskhan? <laughs> I don't know what the hell is going on today. I need to wake the fuck up. I should've, like, like, chugged a Red Bull or something before recording. That's not safe. Don't do that. Your heart will race very fast, 
and you will end up throwing up, and I want to eat a cucumber right now. Why do you have sp Well, we have Spore, so that would make sense that the other Kangaskhan has Spore. Um, Totodile's coming in, switching out, going over to... Let's go out to Oswald first, because I want the experience. Now let's go out to Kathleen, take down this Totodile. Let's go for a cross chop, see how much damage that does. Are you really gonna slash my Kathleen? You can't hurt Kathleen. Kathleen is MVP caliber status, you can't take her down. Low kick. I know you're not very heavy, Totodile, but this is a shoe in to hit you, and it's probably going to take you down. So, my speed harshly fell. We're gonna connect with a low kick, and you're gonna... Okay, apparently you're that light. You're really that light that it literally did no damage. That's okay, we're gonna seismic toss you. And just to see how much time we're at, we're at about 11 minutes. Yeah, so we have 10 more minutes of recording here. So we... Okay, very unprofessional. I need to turn my phone on vibrate, but Jenna and Julian just uploaded a new podcast, which is really cool. I will watch that probably right when I'm done recording. Oswald the Fifth is trying to learn Scary Face, uh, but we are not going to learn that. We're going to stop learning Scary Face, we're going to defeat this guy, and now we can grab a Pokemon. So let's just talk to him, get the dialogue in there. Indeed I have lost, but I beseech you, do not take our emblem as your trophy. In return, I will give you a prize fighting Pokemon that is randomized, so it may not even be fighting. It might be a Lugia, or a Mewtwo, or a Weedle. It could potentially be another Weedle, in which case I'm not going to take it. If this is a Weedle and a Caterpie, I might have a heart attack and die on camera. That might happen today, ladies and gentlemen, it might happen today. Sorry for getting ground up, riled up. But anyway, two possible Pokemon that we could select. We are, well, we're gonna select one of the two possible Pokemon, that's what I'll say. The first randomized Pokemon is going to be a hard-kicking Hitmonlee. That's not Hitmonlee, that is a Vigoroth, I believe. Vigoroth, okay, very cool. Next up is... Okay, here's the thing. I know I'd say... I, I know I, I said I would have, you know, left, came back, left it up to you guys for the votes. Everyone is gonna vote for the piston-punching Hitmonchan, a.k.a. the Trico. Do you guys understand? If we pick the Trico, we have a Johto Pokemon starter... A Kanto starter and a Hoenn starter. Guys, I, I gotta make the executive decision here. We're going with the Piston Punching Hitmonchan, aka Trico, and we will nickname this Trico after one of you guys in the comment section from the last episode. So, we gotta nickname this Trico. Let's bust into the comment section, and we are gonna nickname this Trico after Matt Holiday. I hope I'm pronouncing your last name right, Matt. Matt, thank you so much for the love and support. You are constantly leaving comments, constantly hitting that like button. I cannot thank you enough. And to show my gratitude, I shall name this Trico after you. So, Matt the Trico, I love it. So, we're going to send Trico to the PC for now. And we're going to go check out that Trico right now. And go look at its stats and go look at, look at its move pool and all that. Yeah, I highly doubt that there would have... I know some of you probably would have voted for the Vigoroth, but... Come on, Trico, a Hoenn starter, a Vigoroth, it's it's a no-brainer in my opinion. I hope you guys are cool with that executive decision that I made there. Hey! Hey! I am the captain now! Yeah, anyway, I'm so excited that we just got Trico. That thing is definitely coming on the team. The question is, who are we going to swap out for it? So, let's go check that out. Let's boot up the PC here. And let us go to move Pokemon. And let's check out this Trico. And this Trico's already at level 25, which is fucking awesome. So it is an adamant nature. Someone please let me know in the comments below what that does exactly. It has the Shed Skin ability, which heals the body by shedding. I love it, but that is probably going to change once it evolves. Looking at this thing's stats, really good special attack, really good special defense. The stats don't really matter right now because once it evolves two more times, it will learn new moves, uh, new base stats that will all get randomized, but this thing has Absorb, Quick Attack, Pursuit, and Screech. Very cool. Uh, looking at my team now, it's a grass type, so I really could swap it out with anything. I mean, just by looking at my I, you know what I just realized? I have two fire types. I don't know how I just noticed that now, and I have to take the Deep Sea Tooth off of Pyro. Ah, I, can't, I do have two fire types, but you know what? I, it's worth having the two fire types. No, I took it off to just put it back on. No, I want to give you the charcoal. Uh, where are the char- I think I have two charcoals. That's why it's not at the bottom of the PC. Yep, okay. Because you know what? Oswald will eventually be fire flying, which is good because I'll have the flying type on my team. 
I'll have another fire. Rock and Psychic, Fighting, Water and Ice, and Normal. Oh, I'm thinking that we get rid of... Ah. Oh. I'm thinking Savannah's gonna have to chill in the PC for now. How much time we have? 15 minutes. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take out Trico, aka Matt. I'm gonna add Matt to the team, and we're gonna swap out for Savannah for now. Let me know in the comments below if you guys think this is a good decision. Now we have three starter Pokemon on our squad. I feel like we always end up with starter Pokemon in my randomizers. It's, it's fucking awesome. I really love it. Nurse Joy, would you please heal all my balls? Thank you, miss. Okay, so that was very productive. So, we got Matt on the team. I think you guys will be cool with Savannah chilling in the PC for now. If not, like I said, leave your suggestions. So what we're going to do now is come inside the Sylph Co. And we will battle a couple of trainers. And then... We will call it a day in today's episode, and we will pick up where we left off in episode 23 here in the Sylph Company. So let's run up the stairs here, and let's start battling some trainers. I am going to end this episode at exactly 20 minutes, so we do have three minutes. We can get a couple of battles in, so let's take you on. Hey, kid, what are you wandering here for? I'm wandering here to save the motherfucking day to get a Master Ball to battle Giovanni and then go battle gym leader Sabrina in Saffron City. That's where we're at. Stantler's coming in. Look at those ears. Not ears. Look at those antlers. Stantler has antlers. Uh, we are higher leveled. We are, we're at a higher level than this Stantler. So we're going to go for an Ember, and we're going to take down this Stantler. So we're going to hit this thing with a Breath of Fire, and we get the burn! Oswald the Fifth, you are a savage. Okay, one more Ember should do the trick. Don't even tell me a Kyogre's coming in right now. Yo, I swear to God, I saw the K, and I could have sworn a Kyogre was coming in. I don't know what's going on that every every time I use Ember... Or, yeah, no, it's it's been Ember. Well, fire attacks. Whenever I use these fire attacks, man, they swap out and they go out to these Pokemon that resist it. I don't get it. I, I get... Ah, 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 I don't get it. Anyway, uh, let's go out to... Da, na, 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 na. Fuck it, let's go out to Angela. Water gun, we're gonna eat that up. It was a critical hit. Let's lock on and let's sheer cold this son of a bitch. I'm not taking any chance with this Kingdra. Down goes the Kingdra, beautiful. Kingdra has one of the most badass designs ever. Like, I love the design of Kingdra. Some floor is coming in. Uh, I meant to switch out, I really did. I could probably still go in with Oswald and kick this thing's ass. Uh, you're gonna plant your roots. <clears throat> I'm gonna plant my roots too. And then I'm gonna kick you right in the ass! Woo! Fury, attack. Fury attack. Well, now I'm just saying Pokemon moves. <laughs> oh my god, my head is up my ass today. Alright, come on. Come on, some floor. Just die. Beautiful. Okay, so Oswald the Fifth's gonna get some experience. We'll focus on training Trico in the next episode. Uh, here comes a Stantler again. The same Stantler. Uh, you're gonna hit hurt by the burn, though, which is really cool. One more Ember will do the trick. Astonish is gonna do nothing to me. <clears throat> but we flinched, so it technically did do something. Well, it did do something from the hit, but... It wasn't a lot of damage. That's why I said it basically did nothing. Oswald the Fifth gets to level 28. That's what I like to see. Ladies and gentlemen, school boy Liliana is going to send a Larion now. I'm staying in, going for the Ember. Take down. You're hit with Recoil. You have Flash Fire. Okay. Um, Angela, come in here, please. I said, Angela, come in here, please. Are we serious right now? Angela! Come in here, please! Just kill this thing. Oh my god. Oh god, wheezing. Okay. Going out to the wheezing killer. Gym leader Matt, how you doing? We're hitting you with a confusion, and you're gonna die. Love wheezing. Hate the fact that you're always trying to self-destruct on me, man. You really gotta go see some therapy to find solutions to resolve those self-destructive tendencies you got. Ha ha! Ha ha! It took forever to get that joke out. Like I said, like I said, exhausted, can't focus, feel like I have my head in the clouds, singing in the rain. Good morning, good morning. It's great to stay up late. All right, let's battle one more train, then we'll wrap it up here in episode 22. No kids are allowed in here. I beg to differ, motherfucker, because I'm a kid, and I'm in here. And you might be right, I might not be allowed. Do you guys understand how bad I want a Lugia? I I don't think you understand how bad I want a Lugia. I wish I could just throw my Master Ball 
and catch this motherfucker's Lugia and put it right in my PC and then go to the PC and take the Lugia out and put it on my team and then I would nickname it. I would nickname it before it went into the PC, so let me start that over. I would throw my Master Ball. Welcome to Voice Crack City. My name's Vidi. I'm the mayor. I would take my Master Ball. I would throw it. I would catch the fucking Lugia. I would nickname it something badass, probably after one of you guys in the comment section down below. I would send it to the PC. I would go directly to the PC. I would pull it out. Giggity. I would use it in battle. Giggity. I would kill things with it. <clears throat> Giggity. Voice crack again. But I want a Lugia so fucking bad. So can this game stop taunting me and just grant me a fucking Lugia? That would be fantastic. And now I have to kill another one. And I don't want to kill these because I like Lugia. Asshole, get in here. Why? Why are you dragging out Matt? He is poor and defenseless right now. You need to give him some time to blossom into a beautiful flower. Pun intended because he is a grass type. Going back out to asshole. Okay. Rock slide. Die, Lugia, die. I hate to... Okay, you, you want to be an asshole? You want to be an asshole? <laughs> You're just making this difficult for yourself, Lugia. Aerodactyl! Yo, this guy's got a sick team. Why did I use rock slide? Confusion. And we're both confused! And we both hit ourselves! Yay! Die! Okay, beautiful. So, now we should be at 20 minutes. And we are at 22 minutes. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Pokemon Fire Red Randomized Nuzlocke. In the next episode, we will be continuing our journey here in the Silph Co. As always, love and respect goes out to everybody. Don't forget to comment, to rate, and to subscribe. This is Original 151, and I will see you guys next time.